Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before here, bringing you guys more Madden 15, and today I am bringing you guys another ranked match. Now, this one's kind of special. Now, in honor of Colt McCoy beating the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday, I'm bringing you guys a Redskins game in, in ranked match. And guess who I'm starting? Colt McCoy. And also, I made a rule up right now. I will not play RG3. I will not, because if I do, it's going to be overpowered as hell, and along with my offense, you know, play actions and freaking options are going to be freaking deadly, so I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to play RG3. So, um, my opponent, you know, was using the Eagles, and I understand what the what they have, because the linebackers are pretty much fast. And I was like, alright, hopefully I can run the ball very easily, and I did, you know, Alfred Morris was doing a hell of a job in offense. Um, oh, and by the way, I intercepted the ball on the first drive. Pretty cool by D'Angelo Hall, but at the end, D'Angelo Hall ended up being out for game. And now, the reason why it showed that drop right there, and the guy, uh, the linebacker, was about to intercept the ball is because they did that for the whole game. The linebackers were glitchy as hell. The Eagles linebackers just jump, they, just, they don't even jump, they teleport to the freaking ball. It's freaking weird. They do that. That's why I was having trouble passing the ball because these guys were teleporting. All of them, all these linebackers from the Eagles. It was it was happening through the whole game. It was weird. So, anyways, I converted in the fourth down. I knew I knew what to do because you know the tight ends it was usually open uh, down the middle. It's a few plays that I called in before, and you know I finally called it in. Converted the fourth down. Little run with Alfred Morris down the middle, and now watch this next play. This one's pretty cool. Colt McCoy has the ball, about to option the ball. Defensive end gets the fullback, pitches to Roy Hilo, touchdown to the left side, and now guess what? If you guys saw right there, you guys paused it right now when I scored the touchdown, it says injury. Which means Colt McCoy got injured and another bad news happened guys. Colt McCoy is out for game. <laughs> so he was only good for one drive though, but I will give him a grade of B plus. I mean he did a hell of a job sometimes. Kinda. He doesn't have any arm power. <laughs> he does not have any arm power. I freaking hate Colt McCoy. But I guess, you know, in honor of him, you know, he did a hell of a job in the, in the first drive. So now I'm starting Kirk Cousins. And now the thing that sucks about Kirk Cousins, he doesn't allow me to do any kind of play action since he doesn't have any kind of speed going on. So that's kind of suck. That, that eliminates one of my elements in offense. So now I'm in offense. I can't play action. As you can see, he doesn't roll out as fast as you can. And, and also, guys, as I mentioned, I will not play RG3. I will not play him. I was trying to hold my urges back. I was like... Oh, I really want to play action, but I can't because my quarterback is so super slow and I made up this rule that I don't want to play RG3. It was just a whole mess. Seriously, it, it really was. And my defense sucked ass against the running of the Eagles because, you know, the Sean McCoy is a beast. So the guy ended up doing a field goal right there. Pretty much stopped and he couldn't pass for shit. So now I'm back in offense. Third down. I mean, fourth and one. Uh, third quarter. Ended up converting with Alfred Morris. I mean, he was doing a hell of a job. I don't know why I stopped running because I believe that every time I called in the same play, I'm like, fuck this shit. It's going to get super boring. So that's why I always get creative with my runs. I mean, that's why I call in like misdirections and uh, a lot of power O's and counters, and they work pretty well. Alfred Morris did a hell of a job right there in the misdirection. And now I'm about to pass the ball. Nobody's open. Bait him in, R1's open, and Reed is out for the game. <laughs> so now three players out for the game. D'Angelo Hall, Reed, and uh, Cole McCoy. And by the way, yes, that was a major screw-up. That that was, um, you know, what cost me the game, by the way. Sorry for spoiling it, but yeah, it cost me the fucking game. Uh, I do admit that was my mistake. I should have just called in a slam down the middle, so... Uh, or just run the ball, because it was like 30 inches. I was trying to trick out this guy, because, you know... I like to trick out people, but it didn't happen. I knew he was going to protect the middle because he was doing that the whole freaking game. So now I'm back on defense. I can't stop his run. He just keeps on running down the middle. LeSean McCoy is just two beasts, man. Look at this. I can't get him. I can't, just can't. This defense sucks in the freaking run stop. They don't have, they don't have a D-line. They, do, they can't stop runs down the middle, but they can't stop him when they're going outside because the defensive ends suck ass. So I'm now back in offense. Roy Healy with a nice run right there. One thing I don't understand is that why they not just keep on running the box and the, after that, I ended up thro throwing the pass um, like two times and didn't happen. Third, 13, I ended up throwing another pass. <sighs> Intercepted the ball. Yeah. 
So I let him go all the way because I knew I can score in, in under a minute. If you guys have seen my previous games, I am freaking dangerous under a minute. I always end up scoring. I don't know why, but it just fucking happens. And so I got, I started to get creative on my passing. And one thing I did not notice, guys, was was the clock. I should have called the timeout right there, but I didn't because I didn't notice the clock. And I was like, okay, let me hot route this other guy. Let me hot route this other guy. And then I look up and I was like, oh shit, five seconds. Called in a timeout and I was like, yep, it's over. Game done, man. That's what happens when you don't notice the freaking game clock. If I would have called a timeout, I would have actually uh, thrown it down the middle with the tight end. And I would have actually been like 20 yards away from the goal line. I know that he was going to be open since he was using the middle linebacker. Either him or the guy going across. So yeah, I've lost. There's, there's no way I'm going to complete this pass since none of my receivers are tall. Except for my tight end. Oh, never mind. I was paused there. <laughs> and then my tight end got stuck, in it, got stuck there and I was like, oh, fuck this shit. Yeah. Santana Moss, I mean, he could have caught that, but didn't happen. So there's going to be another game, guys, with the Washington Redskins uh, with a Colt McCoy starting because he got injured in the first quarter. So expect another game with the Washington Redskins pretty soon. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Madden 15.